28 minutes past five. Now, check your pension investments and divest of carbon. This is the message from the Green Party, especially if your pensions are invested in big oil and gas companies. Environmentalists are warning that the value of fossil-based investments will dramatically decline as fossil reserves simply can't be burned if countries keep their pledge to cut carbon emissions. It's described as the carbon bubble and South West Green Party MEP Molly Scott Cato told our Dorset political reporter Tristan Pascoe why this is really such a concern to anyone with a pension. The carbon bubble is a way of thinking about the fact that lots of fossil fuel companies have assets which can never be realised if we're going to tackle climate change. Because if we think that we need to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels in order to not produce too much carbon dioxide to damage our climate, then that means a lot of the oil and gas that we currently know about cannot be burned. And this means that the value of the companies that own those assets are much higher than they should be. And this relates to pretty much anyone who's got a pension because so many pension funds are tied up in companies that have reserves or as assets are based on oil, gas, etc. That's right. The reason we call it a carbon bubble is because it's now a systemic risk to the whole financial system. It's destabilising the system as a whole, but it also affects every single individual because, as you say, people's pension funds own a lot of fossil fuel assets and they are now not worth as much as they might have been because of the issue of climate change. So everybody who has a pension needs to to be concerned about this. As well as the obvious interest for those that have pensions and investments in this, it's the people at the top, isn't it? It's the big financial companies, the big global corporations you have to persuade to, to get out of carbon effectively. Well, there's two ways of working with this. There's at the level of the regulators. So the Bank of England's now taking this seriously because they see the financial risk and they can require companies to downgrade their, their fossil assets and actually remove fossil assets from their portfolios. Um, but at the individual level, we can persuade our pension companies and our banks and the, the, all the financial institutions that we have dealing with that we want them to take their money out of fossil assets, both because we don't think those are any longer secure assets and because we want them to take the issue of climate change seriously. How big a threat is this to the pension in the pocket of uh, everybody, you know, either investing or currently drawing a pension? Well, I think there's, there's two types of threat. One is the threat of, of instability and another financial crisis, and we've seen what that's done to pensions over the past few years and, and to older people and their savings. So it's much better that we have a, a stable system for everybody. But also over the long run, we need people to, ha to have their money invested in assets which are going to be valuable. And the most valuable place to put your money is in renewables because that is the energy of the future and renewable investments are bringing a good return whether it's a, a community renewable or whether it's pension funds investing in renewables. Now there are some like the Wellcome Trust for example who say isn't it better to work with these companies rather than sell out on them is the phrase they use but you'll describe it as divesting don't you? divestment of carbon interests. Yeah divestment as the opposite of investment but I think we need to actually do both those things because I don't want to see a sudden collapse in the value of companies because that's destabilizing but I also don't want to have my money attached to fossil assets when those are threatening the climate so I think we need to work with the companies and now I think the Bank of England's investigating how to do that and regulators can do that on our behalf so we don't want suddenly them to drop all their fossil assets but on the other hand I think as individuals we need to make that decision about whether we want to carry on funding the fossil industry which is destroying our climate. So what should individuals do if they're concerned about their own investment portfolio or just their own pension? We can lobby our, our pension funds and personally I would always advise people to be part of a mutual pension fund which means it belongs to you, no money goes to shareholders and you have an absolute say over how your money is invested. So if you, if you are in a mutual, get onto the people running the fund and tell them you want them to divest from fossil fuels. South West Green Party MEP Molly Scott Cato with our Dorset political reporter Tristan Pascoe.